Greetings and salutation. I am your host, the disembodied SPSS voice, and today we'll be looking at running correlation and simple linear regression using SPSS. Now, first of all, let's take a look at what variables are we dealing today. We're actually only going to look at self-esteem and success level for today's video. Uh, there's another variable called overcompensation, but it's not really relevant right now, much like my sense of humor. So yes, we'll only be looking at these two variables. Now let's go to data view just to yeah take a look at the numbers. Uh, but now we want to run the correlation and it's actually quite straightforward. You just need to go to analyze, correlate, and click on bivariate, bivariate meaning two variables. Oh, let me just reset that. All right, so we want to look at the correlation between self-esteem and success level. And all we need to do is slot them into the variables box, like so. You notice that you have a correlation coefficients box over here, and by default, Pearson is ticked. But if you want non-parametric correlations, you can click on Candles Tau or Spearman's Row over here. I'm just going to click it for demonstration purposes. Next, you can go to options and you might want means and standard deviations. Plus, press continue. And then it is but a simple matter of pressing OK, giving you your tables. So you can see that the first table, the first correlations table, is referring to your person's R. And if you had requested for non parametric correlations, they would be displayed here. So just a quick note about these videos, we'll be showing you the steps of running these stats tests in SPSS, but we won't actually be interpreting, interpreting them here. That'll be done in your lectures and tutorials. And that is it for your correlations. Let's move on to a simple linear regression where you would want to predict a outcome variable using the values of one predictor variables. So go back to your data view uh, and let's run simple linear regression. You would go to analyze, Press on regression and then surprise, surprise, click on linear. And then as per usual, you would have to slot in the variables in their rightful homes. So in the dependent box, I want you guys to slot in the success level. Okay. <clears throat> and then for the independent box, you would slot in the self-esteem. So we're looking at whether self-esteem can predict success level. You can also go to options sorry, statistics, and click on descriptives, again, to get your means and standard deviations, as well as your confidence intervals. I like to leave mine at 95. Uh, then you can press continue and press OK. And voila, you have your tables. So as per the lecture, note that the three most important tables here are your model summary, your ANOVA table, and your coefficients table. So. That's about it for simple linear regression. Do take note that uh, I haven't shown you how to check for assumptions. We'll cover that in a later video, but for now, that's how you would run a very basic, very simple, simple linear regression. So yes, that is it for this video. I hope that it has been entertaining for all of you, and have a nice day.